I got him. Oh yeah. Oh, good fish. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh I just saw it in the surf there. Good fish, guys. Good, good fish. Oh, yeah. And he's just chilling in that little hole right there. Oh, yeah. Good, good fish. Got a buffet of fleas on there. I caught one of those whiting like that too. I couldn't find any fleas, but I just stacked like three like that. Come on. Might be a little pin. I got it. We're hooked up. It's a good fish, whatever it is. Probably another black. It's running. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Get a bite here. Oh, good fish, guys. It's a big fish. Oh my god. Guys, it's a big fish. Oh god. As soon as I set that hook, I can feel that there's a big fish. Jonathan! Hey, Jonathan! So I'm good. Good black drum. Good, good black drum right there. That's got to be a keeper. Got to be a keeper. Dude, when I set that hook, it was like dead weight. <laughs> it's got to be 14. 15... Perfect. Perfect. We got our drum catch and cook video right here. Look at that beautiful fish. Awesome. I'm excited. Let's go do that again. I got him. Oh yeah. Oh, good fish. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 I just saw it in the surf there. Good black drum. Oh, it's a good black drum. It's a good, 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 good black drum. Oh yeah. Let's get it in. Good black drum. We're getting it done today. So I got tail on zero. He's right at 14. Perfect.
All right, let's go ahead and prepare some fresh ceviche. Now this is my favorite way to prepare fresh caught fish because it's so quick to prepare and it tastes incredible. So what it comes down to for the ingredients is very simple. All you need are your limes. I like red onion in mine, cilantro as well in mine, and uh, salt. Your base for the ceviche is your salt and lime, and then everything else is just extra. So some people like adding mango, pineapple, some kind of tropical fruit in there, as well as other spices. Um, but for me, this little simple mix right here comes out perfect. So we've got the fresh sealed black drum here. I've got one of these right here. This fillet has uh, been skinned and then this one's got the skin on. So we'll go ahead and pop that out and cut it up into chunks here. We'll go ahead and cut this open. And pull our fillet out. And we'll just begin by chopping it into I like pretty small chunks that way it cooks a lot faster and it does basically cook in the lime the salt and lime mixture denatures the protein so ceviche is actually not considered raw it's kind of in between raw and your conventional cooking with heat but Heat and acid both work to denature protein. Nice chunks there. Really good looking meat. As always, I'm gonna give it a try. Just one, one little piece. I'll have to say that was the best fish that I've tried, just straight up raw from the ocean. We got our container here, and I like to give a nice covering of the fish with the salt. So something like that there. I, you don't have to go, you don't want to go over with the salt right now because you can always add more, especially with the lime. Um, but you can't take it, take it back. So now we'll go ahead and prep our cilantro. This one was already washed. We'll just throw it all into the processor and that's probably all we need A little bit of our red onion here to add. All right, that's about enough onion. Go ahead and add our cilantro. And let's give everything a good mix up. Ooh, that looks good, doesn't it? So you can see the meat already pretty much immediately starting to turn white there from the lime. We're gonna need one more lime in there. So our second lime going in here for that one filet. And that was probably around a four ounce filet, three to four ounce filet. So it looks like two limes is gonna be plenty enough here. Look at that, doesn't that look great? Go ahead and just taste the lime salt mixture. It's almost there. So it just needs a little more salt. And it's just gonna have to be something like, I don't have numbers for this because I never know how much fish I'm using. 
and that kind of deal. So I've made it a few times now and each time I've gotten better at it. You just got to remember you can always add, you can't remove. Yeah, that's almost pretty much perfect. A little more salt. And I think we'll have it on point. And like I was saying, a lot more you can add there. My favorite way to eat it is with chips and just dip it in there. So we'll leave that in the fridge for about 30 minutes and let it cook up. So because of the thickness of these black drum chunks here, I've let the uh, ceviche here sit for a couple of hours now, uh, actually a few hours. So it's been three hours um, and it may actually need a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly check it out here. Look at that. Mm. Oh wow, that's incredible. Oh, black drum is incredible as a ceviche. Wow. Do another bite here. Mmm. Go ahead and give you guys the first person view here. Oh, it's incredible. The salt lime with the cilantro and that red onion, it all comes together. Mm-mm-mm. It gets better every time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions about the ceviche, let me know. Maybe we'll have to make a lot more videos about it. It's definitely worthy of a thousand videos. I'll tell you that. All right. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.